Yeah, I remember um, doing some mushroom recreation with my my friends, and then I always really enjoyed looking at them and and seeing what they're going through and and how they're reacting because some of my friends had an amazing time, but one of my friends it took him like three or four times to actually like kind of like break through because every experience that he had it was super scary. It was it was so scary to to the point where. Where every time, you know, we talk about doing it, you could see like a little bit of fear in him because he doesn't, he doesn't want to go through it again. It's almost like as person and, and my, this buddy of mine was a little bit stubborn and, and it's like it was, he was a little hard, hard headed. So it's like, you know, I know you're having a bad experience, but it's still trying to show you something. You're trying to, it's this thing that you had going through in your mind, it is scary, but it's, you're, you're supposed to, or you're trying to, or you need to kind of learn from it. Like why you're going through, through these bad things? What are you trying to fight? What are you trying to hide? What is this kind of almost like, like show you what is like your almost subconscious tries to show you about yourself that you just don't want to let go. So I, it was really cool seeing like some of my friends having the best time in my life and then my other friends having such a scary time. But then it's also so wonderful seeing them find like breakthrough where you're like, where they're, like you just see the like tension get released. And it's like, okay, see, now you know why this happened and now you finally realize like what's going on. And after that, they've been having like good times with, with it. So it's like, it's crazy to see that where you see people sometimes struggling with it and then they like break through and then you see that there's a get relaxed and their mood changes. You're just like, you're just like, wow. So, you know, this actually does some benefit because I see you as a changed person now. It's crazy how, how it happened after like three or four times of us, of us doing this, where I seen you struggling in life and I seen you struggling while on mushrooms and then you finally get that breakthrough and now you're not struggling as much in life. And you're having like a like a good time on the mushroom. It's crazy how that how that correlates. So, do you find yeah. any joy from that? Do you sit with with the, with patients and like kind of look at them through their experience? Yeah, I mean, we have this kind of concept that there's no such thing as a bad trip, you know, and uh, that difficult is not the same as bad, and kind of helping to reframe that. So, with what you're talking about, sometimes, yeah, these experiences can reveal things to us that can be tr troubling at times or challenging, you know, and especially with other psychedelics like uh, psilocybin or mushrooms, it can be even more uh, powerful in that way. Because one of the things that's kind of nice and a little bit different about ketamine is, especially in the dosages that we're using, is people retain their executive function usually pretty well. They have an awareness that they're having. In, in experience and infusion so there's a little bit of a and also they can kind of open their eyes and look around and reorient themselves to the room and feel a little more grounded in ways that can be very comforting whereas with mushrooms or acid lsd you know it can really kind of overpower overwhelm you sometimes with the visuals or the way that you're affected by it to the point where you kind of lose touch with what you're doing or what's going on. And it's just really overwhelming. So, I mean, ketamine can do that, uh, typically not in the doses that we're using. Um, but yeah, you know, sometimes difficult material comes up and that's a part of the process. And we encourage people to work through that and we support them in it. And uh, yeah, difficult and bad are not the same. And there was actually a study done and the majority of people who have what they would otherwise characterize as bad trips had gotten really good value from them afterwards. So while it might not have been pleasant at the time, they got benefits from it. And we really like for patients to have a pleasant experience. We work hard for that. And most of them do. And most of them really enjoy the infusion process. Um, but even when that isn't the case, there's healing that can occur. And during the infusion process, is there somebody maybe guiding the the, the, the patient? Are they asking the questions or, it just, or is it just more of like this introspective thing where the patient goes through and you just kind of leave them as is and have them figure it out? Yeah, um, we're there for support if needed, but we don't want to be guiding. It's not our place to try to direct them to do or not do anything aside from keeping them safe. Um, that inner work, that inner journey is really important. And um, a lot of the times that intention is simply to be open and to trust, to relax, to allow whatever needs to come up to come up. The medicine and the subconscious has a really amazing way of driving, driving the car where it needs to go. 
And I think so much of the ego and the conscious mind and our defense mechanisms want us to be in control, want us to choose, guide, steer, whatever, and get things right for those of us who might be perfectionistic. I don't want to do this wrong. At the end of the day, that's all really noise. And if you can just trust and be open, things are going to come up that need to. Just like with your friend eating the mushrooms. You know, I'm sure he he wasn't intending to have these hard times, but there was something going on that he needed to face that he was avoiding. And that, you know, that's the kind of cool thing about mushrooms, too. Uh, they're going to show you whether you want to see it or not. That's what it, they do. Yeah, yeah, it's for, it's for sure. Yeah, I always found it interesting because like, you know, I try the LSD, I try the mushrooms and it's almost like for me, you know, for my friends, it's like you take the LSD, but it's almost like you're guiding yourself. But when you do the mushrooms, it's like the mushrooms take you wherever they want to take you and then you kind of just figure out the, the steps along the way and I actually really like that you guys don't guide anything because it's almost like very empowering if you just let the person figure it out themselves because it's almost like you're showing them whatever I need to figure out is already within me and just by them taking it in taking the steps moving forward moving through their their experience it's almost like they're they're learning about themselves that hey whatever is going through my life I have the power to to change it I have the power to fix it I could have a different outlook without necessarily needing anyone anyone's help because I feel like sometimes when people are going through a lot of things, they get dependent on things. They get dependent on drugs. You know, maybe get they get dependent on people, and they're never given the chance, opportunity to just figure things out by themselves. And I feel like if you can figure things out by yourselves, by yourself, it just shows you how strong of of a person you are, strong, and how strong of a mind you have that you could get yourself in any kind of situation, and it translates to every part of your life. You don't necessarily are dependent on, on anything because you realize that, hey, whatever needs to be fixed, I can, I can do that. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, we really like to empower patients uh, to be participating in their own healing and to know that, I mean, we all have our own inner healer and that kind of inner wisdom that we, we so many of us have, you know, kind of tuned out or become less sensitive to um, is always there. And to kind of return to that and to be empowered that you can really help participate in your own healing and you have a lot of wisdom inside, you know, is a, is a great, great way to go about it for sure. And I think too many people look for a quick fix or for someone else to fix them or a doctor or they just think I'll pop this pill and everything will be better or I'll go see a specialist and they'll fix me. And that just is the westernized idea of medicine that has not served us. We've seen it over the last 30, 40, 50 years, how it's failed us, especially where mental health is concerned. And I think people are waking up to taking a little more ownership of their mental health and realizing that, yes, there are resources and there's support and there's guidance. Ultimately, people have to participate in their own healing. Yeah, like Jocko Willick said, you, you got to take ownership. I'm not sure if you're familiar with, with Jocko Willick, but he's uh, this Marine guy that always, you know, he always preached like, you know, take, you got to take ownership of, of everything. 